today is the first day that the aroma of spring is coming over the hills <laughs> into the garden. Either that or somebody's having a barbecue. <laughs> I wrote last week about my favorite tree and this is where my favorite tree was, right here. All that's left of it is just a few pieces of firewood. And when it came down, look at this angel. That's our first job of the day is to try and fix this angel. Well, we're gonna see if we can make this angel fly again. This is the stuff I use for fixing all my pots and statues and whatever else I have that's broken. You might have some stuff in your garden that didn't make it through the winter like this. And we're just gonna coat both sides with this goop. And whenever we glue anything, we want to clamp it. That is the, the thing that, that makes that good bond. And I'm hoping I can use these right here from the truck to keep this wing in place. And I'm hoping that this wing isn't too heavy for the goop. We'll see. I'm gonna use lots. So if you look closely, you can see where I did this on this part of the wing. This is how I got the statue cheap. Somebody at the nursery had dropped the statue and cracked that off. I don't mind gluing this stuff back on. With a wing this big, we'll see. And so we're just gonna put it into place. Oops, the other way. And that goop will all kind of fill in all the spots. And then I'm gonna get this ratchet strap. There we go. Oh, good. And see if I can make it stay in place. Tomorrow it'll be good. All right, that's it. That's gonna hold. Now it's gonna take three burly guys <laughs> to stand this statue back up. One person put it into my truck at the nursery when I got home. I called my son and said, help. All right, next job, deer, deer, and more deer. Well, take a look. This is the worst it's ever been. The deer have been on everything. I have not sprayed my Bob X like I should, but I'm gonna start right now. This is the time when nothing has leafed out in the forest and the deer are at their worst. And you can see coming after my rhododendrons, my azaleas, all sorts of other plants. I'm going all around the property and I'm gonna protect what I love. The nice thing about the Bob X is it sticks really well. So even if we do get a little rain, we won't have to reapply until about three days of rain. Then I'll reapply. This is one I've worked hard on bringing back. I've been fertilizing it. Uh, it was a big plant and it's come up from the bottom and I want to keep these deer off it Got to be careful to be downwind of this stuff. That's what keeps the deer off. It smells. And that's a good thing, trust me. Got another little one down here. This is my favorite azalea too. It has this beautiful salmon colored blossoms. But look right next to it. This is Japanese Pieris. The deer have not touched it. You can't ever say a plant is deer proof, but that's deer resistant. And this is the earliest I have ever seen it bloom. It has these little bell shaped flowers that when they get going, they have that uh, fragrance of kind of a honeysuckle. But usually this is a month later blooming. So we're seeing a lot of that. And as I have often said, with things that are blooming early, there's nothing we can do about it. Just let nature take its course. These plants have been through it for hundreds of years. So you'd think on a nice day like today, I'd be working outside only. I'd save this job for another cold day. But before we get started in earnest with all the crazy garden jobs we're gonna to have to do, this is the time to fertilize your house plants. And I've got lots of them in here that need a little help. I love this stuff from Espoma. It's called Grow, it's a concentrate. I mixed it up in here and it's just like watering, only with a little bit of 
nutrients in there. All right, I'm coming back outside where it's nice to finish up. Be sure to check me out online. That's how you can find out how you can come to the Duquesne Light Pittsburgh Home and Garden Show for free. The catch is, you gotta hear me speak. Everyone who attends gets a free packet of Clint Eastwood Rowdy Red Tomato Seeds, a rare variety, a chance to win a flower carpet rose, and he might be going to Falling Water with me for an in-depth tour until next week. Mmm, that's the smell of spring. Or is that fried chicken? I don't know. We'll see you then.